Hello and welcome back to Gotham Sound and Communications. My name's Nate and today we're going to be going over the different types of MiFi's that we have available in our rental inventory, comparing and contrasting the similarities and what makes them stand out and which one may be the best for the job at hand. As you can see here, we have four different MiFi's in our rental inventory. Now these models have changed over the years. Uh, we've had different ones in the past and we're probably going to have different ones in the future as well. The service provided by these MiFi's will stay the same. However, the uh, devices specifically available, the different models uh, change. One thing that's in common with all of these MiFi's is that they are single modem cellular uh, routers. So that means these are very similar to the data used on your cell phone. These connect two cell towers to establish an internet connection and allow you to connect via Wi-Fi. Another thing in common with all four of these MiFi's is the fact that they all charge via USB-C, meaning they all have the same power supplies that can connect to them. So as you can see right here, they're on different locations on each of the devices, but they all take a single USB-C input in order to power. The last thing that all of these MiFi's have in common is that they all have no data overages. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that you can use as much data as you want. They do have an X amount of data allotted to them per monthly billing cycle before the speeds begin to throttle to uh, 3G or a, a, a slower uh, bandwidth. That being said, these devices don't penalize you for going over a data limit. You can use all of the data that is available and then afterwards you get a reduced speed, slower service, but you're not penalized financially for doing so. So the first MiFi that we're gonna be taking a closer look at is the Franklin T10 MiFi. Um, which if you've seen the how to set up a MiFi or MiFi basics video on this channel as well, this is the device I used as a model in that video of how to establish an internet connection. The ability to connect to any of these devices is the same. You just enter the Gotham uh, network name and the password and then you are in. It, connecting to all four of these devices is exactly the same. The Franklin T10 here is uh, powered by uh, T-Mobile. It uses T-Mobile as its carrier, and that's where it derives its internet uh, strength from. So if you're shooting in an area and you know that T-Mobile is gonna provide solid, uh, adequate service in that area, this is a great solution. Um, that being said, it is uh, 4G LTE speeds, so it may not be the fastest uh, mobile hotspot on the market, but we do uh, recommend this for um, office use, sending and receiving emails with attachments. Uh, we don't recommend streaming any video off of this device or uh, downloading gigantic files, but you know, paperwork, office administration, uh, connecting to printers, uh, laptops, etc. this device has got you covered. The next device we're gonna look at is the Orbic Speed. Uh, this MiFi is very, very similar to the Franklin T10, but with one major difference, and that is that the Orbic Speed is powered by Verizon, meaning that uh, this device uses Verizon cell phone towers to establish its internet connection. Another really special and unique thing about this device in particular is how easy it is to uh, swap from a 2.4 gigahertz to a 5 gigahertz internet connection. Unlike the other MiFi's here, you can swap between 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz connections with a few simple button presses instead of opening an admin menu. Um, that can be very helpful if you're working with a specific internet device like a printer, uh, you know, a wireless printer, where it only uh, is able to work on bands of 2.4 gigahertz. Now this might be overly technical, but it's good to know that if you need to swap between 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz, this Orbix speed is probably the MiFi for you. The only direct downside as opposed to the Franklin T10 uh, is a bit of a personal gripe for me, is I don't really like that the power button is right here on the face. Um, a lot of people accidentally will, you know, throw this in a backpack or, uh, you know, even sometimes in the case provided, uh, they'll lay, lay this thing face down or stack another uh, device on top of it 
and then uh, the device will power on unexpectedly. So it's a little bit harder to test the actual like true battery life of this thing because it often gets powered on and off by mistake. But uh, it's closer to the uh, eight hour range than say the uh, 10 range that the Franklin T10 has. So because this MiFi is available on Verizon, if you know going into a shoot, uh, specifically which service is better, T-Mobile or Verizon, in the area that you're shooting, and you're able to determine that from a location scout or, um, you know, the people that were there, uh, you know, in the past saying, oh, you know, my cell service is working great here. It's likely that if the cell service was working great in that area, then that's probably the carrier you're gonna wanna go with. Now we'll get into carrier diversity down the road when we start talking about pep wave devices in another video. But in this situation, it's great if you have multiple MiFi's on a job to maybe get uh, a handful of Franklin T10s and then a couple of, uh, you know, maybe one or two Orbix speeds just in case, uh, you know, maybe T-Mobile service isn't particularly great in that area. The good news is you still have Verizon's as a backup um, through the Orbic. Or maybe Verizon uh, in that area isn't quite as strong as the T-Mobile one. That's the carrier diversity that we're, we're talking about. And even though these are single modems, meaning each one of them only makes one internet connection, you can still make sure that your crew is covered in terms of internet connection. The next two MiFi's that we're gonna be looking at are very similar, so they're kinda of grouped in together. This is the Timo Hotspot D53 and the Insego M2000. Uh, these are both 5G uh, MiFi's that are on T-Mobile uh, as a carrier. In the past, we've had other carriers like AT&T uh, have MiFi's as well, but currently in the Gotham rental inventory, we only have T-Mobile and Verizon. But like I said, the models and the carriers uh, that offer MiFi's can always change. Down the line, there may be uh, AT&T uh, MiFi's on the market as well. What's really great about these two 5G MiFi's is not only the fact that they are 5G, but the uh, additional uh, speeds that you receive from 5G are an added benefit, as well as the amount of pre-allotted data that you're able to use on these devices. Another great thing about these two uh, devices specifically is if you don't want to open up a uh, internet hotspot, so uh, if you don't wanna have a, a wireless connection to the internet that anyone on your crew can find and connect to and if they see the sticker username and password can get into um, both of these 5g uh, MiFi's you are able to USB tether to connect to a specific device meaning if you have a USB-C to USB uh, cable and you plug that into a laptop or a printer uh, you can set up USB tethering just by going into the menu of this device and that device that is plugged in via USB automatically connected to the internet. You just have to type in the password and it does not create a wireless uh, internet connection or a Wi-Fi for everyone else to look up and connect to. More times than not, to really establish the strongest speed and connection, uh, we recommend checking out our PepWave devices when trying to, you say, provide internet for an entire crew. But in certain uh, like office settings or uh, you know maybe you have a hair and makeup team of five or six people, seven, eight people, um, these devices can facilitate what's needed in those situations. Uh, very rare, but um, these devices can technically connect up to 10 and sometimes we can uh, adjust those settings to allow more than five devices to connect to these. So there you have it. That's the simple, quick and easy rundown of these four MiFi devices. We have three that are on the T-Mobile carrier and one that is on the Verizon carrier, um, but all are available to rent today at Gotham Sound. Um, be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube or follow along on Facebook to stay up to date with all things Gotham. If you have any questions regarding these MiFi's, feel free to leave a comment below and we're more than happy to help you find the MiFi that works best for you.